Hello and welcome to another video from AV Forums. These are our best settings for movie and TV viewing out of the box in standard dynamic range SDR and high dynamic range HDR. These settings are relevant for the B10 OLED TV. The settings will look dim when compared to standard and vivid modes as these settings we will go over are for getting your TV as close as possible to the industry standards which allows you to view TV and film content as it's supposed to be seen. When we finish your TV will look very much like a calibrated image out of the box as that is what filmmaker mode is intended to do. You can adjust the brightness of the panel to help in brighter living rooms without affecting the accuracy too much, but only if you do this with any best picture mode, which is filmmaker mode. Other picture modes such as standard and vivid are just too bright with colours that are unrealistic when compared to how they should look, and white will look far too blue. So let's get started. First of all, on LG TVs out of the box, we want to switch off the eco settings as they will interfere with the TV brightness and black levels. The first thing we want to do is go down to energy saving and then click off. Now we're going to go to the picture mode and press select and then we're going to press select again to get our list of picture presets. We want to select filmmaker mode here and we choose exactly the same picture preset for HDR content as well as SDR content. Filmmaker mode is the most accurate out of the box. Next we move back to the main menu and we check that the aspect ratio is set to just scan on. This means that we get all the picture information. Then we move back to filmmaker mode and we're going to start to change some settings depending on your room and the lighting. OLED light adjusts the brightness of the full panel and when set to 25 that gives us 100 nits of brightness out of the box which is the industry standard but it's only really suitable for darkroom viewing. You can use this adjustment to brighten the panel to match your room conditions if 25 is too dim. You can go all the way up to 100 without affecting accuracy too much so use the setting to match your surroundings. Now moving down the settings list you can leave contrast and brightness at the default settings as they are usually perfect on modern TVs. Sharpness can be dialed back slightly to 5 from the default of 10. Colour and tint can also be left at default. Next we'll move to advanced controls. In here we want to make sure that everything is switched off. By choosing filmmaker mode that should already be the case but we can also go through here and check everything manually just to make sure it's the case. When we get to gamma we can make some changes again depending on your room conditions. In a bright room you may want to select 2.2 as 2.4 or BT1886 can be too dark and obscure shadow details or it may just look a little bit too dark. Using 2.2 rebalances the look in a bright room. If you're in a slightly darker room, or perfectly in a dark room for critical viewing, then 2.4 or BT1886 are both very similar, with 1886 just a little bit darker in the shadows. The white balance and colour management system, or CMS, cannot be adjusted by eye and they need to be set up using a correctly profiled meter and software. Plus their results can vary from TV to TV, whereas a picture preset from factory is normally accurate enough over a number of sets out of the box, meaning that filmmaker mode is accurate enough for out of the box settings. Finally we'll leave peak brightness off and then go back to the main menu and from here we'll go to picture options. Again we want to make sure that most of these settings are switched off when using HD and 4K picture sources as most of these will remove fine detail more than we want. As we're in filmmaker mode most of these are switched off by default and that is what we want. Real cinema needs to remain on as that will help with correct cadence detection so motion looks correct with 24 frames per second material. If you watch a lot of standard definition TV channels or low bitrate channels, you may want to introduce smooth gradation and smooth out some gradation issues or colour stepping which is seen in skies or blocks of colour within some content. You can use it with HD and 4K content but be aware that while it's effective it can also scrub out fine detail from the image. Finally, now that we have everything set up we can apply these settings to all the inputs using the selector on the main menu and that's us finished. 
Your image will take some watching over a few hours or a few days to acclimatise away from the garish colours and blue whites of the standard and vivid modes, but you now have an image that can only be slightly bettered with an actual professional calibration. If you like our videos, then please like and subscribe as we'll be bringing you more TV reviews and settings videos this year. You can also donate to the channel or become a patron and the links are in the description. And also remember that our TV reviews can be found first on avforums.com. Thanks for watching.